In this tutorial, I'm going, to I'm going to show you how to create this 3D sphere con uh, concept using Inkscape. I saw a tutorial similar to this for Adobe Illustrator on YouTube, and I figured uh, creating this in Inkscape would be a, a good tutorial to make. So I'm going to show you how to create this in Inkscape now. Granted, it's not as easy as it is in Illustrator, but it still can be done. So let's get started. So this should be your view when you first open Inkscape. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties. And we're going to uncheck that box and close out of that menu. And then we'll open our Align and Distribute menu with this button right here. And then we'll open our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Strokes. And then we're going to go to um, View. Make sure you have Custom selected. And then we're going to go to Zoom, and we're going to zoom in at one-to-one. -one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. So come over here to the Create Circles and Ellipses tool. And while holding Control and Shift in the keyboard, click and drag on the canvas to create a, a perfectly round circle like that. And let's grab the arrow and then let's click and drag this thing over to the center of the page and let's take the opacity on this and let's drop it in half. So let's come over here and just click that in half. And then we're going to right click this and we're going to go to duplicate. And let's turn that red. And let's grab this bottom arrow right here and let's just click and drag this up to about here. And then we're going to click on this a second time to get the rotation handles. And then we can hold control and just grab this top one and rotate it kind of like that. We'll put that right there. You know what, let's make this a little smaller. Let's click on this again to get back to our scaling handles. Let's hold control and shift and let's scale this down a little bit. It's a little too big. Actually, let's flip this horizontally. We want to put it this way. So you flip it horizontally with that button right there. Now let's take this and put this right here. And then let's right click it and go to duplicate and take this duplicated copy and put it right about here. We want to position these two so that they're stacked up on top of each other, kind of like that. And once you get it to that point, hold shift and click on the other one so you have them both selected. And let's go to path, union. And then we'll hold shift and click on the black circle. And we're going to center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's take these red, these red ovals right here. Let's hold control and shift. Let's scale these out a little bit. I'm going to make these a little bigger. Maybe kind of like that. And then afterwards we can hold shift and click on that black circle. We can go to path, difference. So we end up with something like that. Now what we'll do next is we'll right click this and we'll duplicate it and we'll turn that red and while holding control and shift on the keyboard, click and drag this down, scale this down to about here. About that much. And then we'll lower that uh, one selection, we'll lower that one step by clicking that button. And then what we'll do next is we're gonna, we're gonna grab our Bezier pen and we're gonna turn on this snap to cusp nodes. If you see the icon up here, it's gonna say snap to cusp nodes. We'll turn that on and let's snap the cursor onto this corner right here and click and then snap the cursor onto this corner and click and let's bring this line around the inside over here and then over to the inside of the red shape and connect it back together right at the starting point kinda like that you want the you want the uh, the shape to be going completely outside of this white space right here you want it to completely encase that and we're gonna do the same thing with the other three sides so let's click on this let's snap to this corner right here we'll click that and we'll snap to this corner click that We'll bring this along the inside and then connect it back to the starting point from right about there. And we'll do the same thing over here, snap to the corner and snap to this corner. Bring this line along the inside and back around through the inside of the red shape and snap it right back to the starting point. And we'll do the same thing at this last corner right here. Kind of like that and then snap it all together. And then we can come up here to the snap to cusp nodes. We can turn that off. We don't need that anymore. And we can go to our arrow. Let's go back to our arrow. And let's hold shift and click on all four of those sh uh, shapes we just, we just created. So we already have this one selected. So let's hold shift and click on this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then we're going to click on that red shape in the background. So let's go ahead and while still holding shift, click on that red shape as well. So you have all of them selected. And we'll go to path. And we'll select union. What we could do now is we can click and drag over this entire thing so we have them both selected and let's bring the opacity all the way up on that so we end up with something like this. Now the next thing we'll do is we're going to create another circle so go back to the circle tool 
And let's come over here and hold Control and Shift and click and drag to make another perfectly round circle, kind of like that. And we'll go back to our arrow. Let's turn that blue and then hold Shift on the keyboard and click on the black, the black shape right there. We're going to center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. So we can select just this blue circle right here. And let's lower that to the bottom right here. Lower selection to the bottom. Click that once. And let's actually zoom in on this. You can hold control and use the mouse wheel on your keyboard to zoom in. Or you can just press plus and minus on the keyboard to zoom in. We're going to zoom in. What we're going to pay attention to right here is this corner and where the blue circle starts. You want to have it set up so that the blue circle, the edge of the blue circle is touching that corner right there. So we're just going to hold control and shift. We're going to grab this arrow and we're going to scale this up until it's right about there. We want it to look like it's resting on the edge of that blue circle right there. So right there is pretty good. It doesn't have to be exact, just as long as it looks close enough. And we can press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. Now let's click on this black shape on top right here. And let's give this a radial gradient with that button right there, radial gradient. And then come over to the gradient uh, tool, click on that. If you don't see this tool on your toolbar, if you, particularly if you're using a laptop, there will probably be a little arrow on the bottom of your screen right here. Click that arrow and you'll see the gradient tool. So once we have the gradient tool open, let's click on this top uh, step right here. And let's come over to the A column. Make sure you have HSL selected. We'll come over to the A column. We're going to bring the we're going to bring that all the way up. And then come over here to this blue line right here. And right about here, double click that to create a new stop on that line. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to double click right here to create a new stop on that line as well. So we should have one, two, three, four. Four total stops going right here. So let's click this second from the top one right here. And let's go to the L column. Let's make that a dark gray. About that much. And then we'll go to this second one. And we'll make that a, a slightly lighter gray than the one we just used. And then we'll go to this first one right here. And we'll make this white. All the way white. So we end up with something kind of like that. Now let's take this and move this up to about... We want to put this thing like right about here. And you can hold Control and Shift, and you can click and drag this, and you can kind of play around with this to get it to look how you want it to look. I think um, it's not going to look exactly like how mine looks on my screen. You'll probably have to play around with it a little bit. Just uh, you know, use these level these levers right here to you know scale this in, make it look right. I think that looks pretty good how it is. I'm just going to leave it how it is, and then we can go back to the arrow. Let's click on this blue circle at the back right here, and I'll come down to our uh, our color picker. Let's slide all the way over. We're going to use like this aqua shade of blue right here. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to give this a radial gradient as well. So click on radial gradient. And we'll go back to our gradient tool. Let's click on this first stop right here. And let's bring the opacity on that all the way up. And then we're going to create another stop right in the middle. Right between this stop and this stop. We're going to create another stop by double clicking this line right here. So go ahead and click that. And then we're all set with those three stops. So let's take the first stop right here. And let's go to the L column and let's darken this up by a lot. Let's uh, make this pretty dark. And actually, let's go back to the, let's go up to the H line. And let's make this like a different, almost like a different shade of blue. Kind of like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll go to this, this middle. We're going to leave this one just how it is. We'll go to this, this first one down here. And let's lighten that up a little bit. Maybe, uh, you don't want it white. It's going to look, uh, it's not going to look right. Maybe about that much, I'd say that's pretty good. Then we can take this line, and we can uh, yeah, just play with it until it, you know everything meshes together well. And then we can hold Control and Shift, and let's grab this handle and bring it in a little bit. And we can take this center node right here and just click and drag this up to about here. Right there is pretty good. Now, uh, let's go back to the arrow. And let's click and drag over this whole thing, and then click it. A second time to get our rotation handles and let's hold control and click and drag this thing over so it's upright kind of like this for what we're going to do next now we can click off of it to deselect everything let's click on this red shape and let's turn that um, come down to our color picker we'll turn that black and we're going to give that a linear gradient with this key right here linear linear gradient let's go back to our gradient tool let's click on this stop right here and let's bring the A column all the way up. And we'll double click right here in the middle of this line to create a new stop. We're going to leave that black, or maybe a little off black, just a dark shade of gray. 
And we're going to come back to this first stop over here. And we're going to make that white. And we'll come to this first stop over here. We'll make that white. Kind of like that. We can click and drag this line in over here. You can hold control on the keyboard while you're doing this. Click and drag this in. Actually, you know what? Let's make this blue instead. Let's go to the arrow. And then let's come up here to where it says uh, give it a flat color. Let's click on that to give it a flat color. And then let's go to the dropper tool. You can click on the dropper tool icon or just press F7. And click and drag over the, um, over the very light shade of blue right here. Let's click on that to make it that color. We're going to make this a little lighter. We're going to use a blue gradient instead of the, uh, the gray one. I think it looks better. And then we'll go to the arrow and click on that. Let's go back to the, uh, the linear gradient. Let's give that a linear gradient. And then we'll come over to the gradient tool. Click on that. And let's come over to this stop on the right and click on that and bring the opacity up. And let's, let's create, let's create a, a stop right in the middle here, just like we did before. Just double click this right here. Double click that line. We can bring, the op we can bring this up a little bit to darken this up. Kind of like that. Now we can take this, we can hold control, and we can drag this line in a little bit like that. And then while still holding control, we can drag this line a little bit, kind of like that. That looks pretty good, I'd say. After that, we can go back to the arrow, click on the arrow, and then let's click on this top uh, gray piece right here. Let's right-click that and go to Duplicate. And let's turn that red. And let's hold Control and Shift, and let's scale this thing down so that it's a little... It's a little uh, smaller than the piece below it. See this blue piece right here? We're going to keep scaling this in until it's about a little bit smaller, about that much. So, kind of like that. And then we'll zoom out. And press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out. And we can turn that black. And we can lower that once, twice, two steps. You can lower that two steps. Now let's take this arrow right here and click and drag this down a little bit. And kind of like that. This is going to be sort of like a makeshift uh, little drop shadow. And then we can take this bottom arrow and bring this up a little bit. We can play around with this until it looks about right. And then once you have it about there, we can take the opacity and we can drop that down a fair amount. We make that about like 38%, kind of like that. Okay, so the very last step for us to do here is to take this we're going to take this first piece right here. We're going to right click this. I'm going to duplicate. We're going to turn this red. And let's take the let's go to the the uh, the opacity and drop that in half. And let's hold control and shift and scale this in. Actually, you know what? Let's scale this um Yeah, let's scale that in. Actually, you know what? Let's undo that. Let's go to edit undo. Let's lower this one step. We're not going to scale it at all. And we're going to take this and drag this down to about here. And then take this and drag this about to up here. Right about there. We want, we want this sticking out from the edges right here. This is going to be sort of like a makeshift bevel, bevel for this, um, this gray object. So Once you get it to about here, let's raise this back to the top by clicking this button. And then let's click on this little blue uh, shape, this little blue shape right here. And let's right click that and go to duplicate. And then we can hold shift on the keyboard and click on that red shape. And let's go to path, intersection. And then we can lower that one step. And let's bring the opacity all the way up. And let's make that black. And let's give that a linear gradient. And then we'll go back to our gradient tool right here. We'll click on this stop on the right, bring the opacity up. And we'll double click this line right here to create a new stop. And we'll make this middle stop. Uh, we'll make this middle stop black, almost black, like a dark gray, kind of like this. And we'll take this one right here. We'll make this white. This isn't coming out so great on my end. I, as you can see, there's a little bit of space in there. Um, kind of like that. And that's pretty much it. That's um. You take this left stop like I just did right here. We're going to turn that white. It's going to be white, dark gray, white. And then we can go back to the arrow, and we're pretty much done. That's pretty much how you can create that. If you want, we could, what we could do is we could click over this whole thing, and then click it a second time and hold control. 
we could bring this back to its starting position, how it was before. And then we could take this top piece, we could right click this and go to duplicate. We could turn that black. And then we can flip this um, vertically, hold control and just drag this down to about here. And then hold shift and click on the, the gray piece up top. And we can go to um, align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor and click on that. And we can click off of the graphic and select just this one. We can give this a linear gradient and click on the gradient tool. And we can take this stop up here and bring it up here. And then take this stop and bring it right below it. You can hold control and make this go completely up and down. And that kind of gives it like a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a reflection. So that's pretty much how you can do that. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I apologize for this coming out a little sloppy. But uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it.